it's Melissa. Happy Thursday. I have a quick trick for you today on heat presses. Okay, so I get this question a lot and this is something that I myself have actually struggled with for quite a while because if you have a heat press and you have ever pressed any kind of HTV or sublimation or anything, you know that sometimes they're like, with medium pressure, or high pressure, or light pressure, you're like, what is that? What defines medium pressure? Or, uh, uh, not high pressure, but medium pressure, high, I guess high pressure, intense, whatever. Um, so what defines that when you have a heat press like this one, and this, quali this goes for anything. I have another heat press here on the floor, same thing. When it just has a heat press pressure knob and not a gauge to tell you, high pressure, medium pressure. How do you know what pressure you're actually on? Okay, so I just learned this little trick, so I'm passing it on to you. Um, it was kind of hidden in a different video that I watched, and so I was like, this is gonna get lost, and it's a gem of a detail. So I will throw the link up to where I found originally, but I did wanna pass along to you because you'll probably never find it because it's not even about um, silhouette or anything like that, but I'll throw the link up afterwards. Okay, so first of all, Every heat press is gonna have a pressure knob. It's gonna be in a different place. So this heat press, which is my eight and one from Swing Design, the pressure knob is back here behind the um, handle. So I don't know if you can see, but this here, no. This is the pressure knob. Okay, so every heat press has a pressure knob um, somewhere, okay, to adjust how much pressure you're putting on. But how do you know when you turn it, it where, where it is, okay? So sometimes it doesn't matter so much, it's just like press and it's fine, but there are certain things that need uh, medium pressure. And if you press too high, the glue from the adhesive will, you know, kind of squirt out the sides. You don't wanna do that. So here's what you're gonna do. First of all, we talked about the paper test before. Okay, so we're gonna use the paper test again. We're gonna use, you can use two or three sheets of, this is just regular copy paper out of my printer. Now, I want you to put that in there, okay? So if you press down, this is the first test. If you can easily press down your press, like I just did without a lot of force, you are automatically either at medium or high pressure. Okay, excuse me, easy or medium pressure, okay? So if this, is easy for you to open and you don't have to like Ugh! that means you are at easy light or medium pressure now how do you know which one if you have this paper in here and you cannot pull it out consider that medium okay so that's the first test now let's loosen this a little bit i'm going to actually open it to loosen it okay so let's loosen this again every every heat press has a pre pressure knob. You need to know which one it is. Um, on my pink press, this press right here, this is the pressure knob. It's the one that you can tell that's going to push the um, top plate down. Okay, so we, where did I put my paper? Okay, so we showed medium. Easy to close, but difficult to pull the paper out. Now, if I make it easy to close and I still can not pull the paper out, we're still at medium. Okay, so let's see. Now, if I need light, whoops, you don't want to do that. Hold on. There we go. Okay, if the paper is easy to pull out, that's light pressure. There's some give, but it's still able to come out. Now, high pressure. What is high pressure? I don't know if you can see, but this whole unit, this whole top part is being pressed down. If I have to apply a lot of pressure to close this, that's high, okay? So let's review. If the handle is easy to close, not easy, but doesn't require a ton of force, you are at light or medium, okay? You determine if you're at light or medium by how this paper moves, all right? So if the paper slides relatively easily, that's light. If the paper doesn't want to give, that's medium. If it's like this and you need to get up on your tippy toes, that's high, okay? So hopefully that will give you an idea because you can buy a really expensive heat press with a gauge that will tell you light pressure, medium pressure, high pressure, or 
But a lot of people can't do that, all right? A lot of people cannot afford, especially when you're home crafting, to have a heat press that is, you know, seven, eight, nine hundred or more dollars, okay? It just doesn't make a lot of sense for hobby crafters or crafters who are slowly moving into small business. If you are slowly moving into a small business, you have other things that you're trying to invest in. Maybe that's a special printer, a sublimation printer, or a DTG printer, or a white toner printer, or something else. To have to buy another heat press on top of that, it, it's very difficult to justify that cost just because you don't have a gauge on your heat press, okay? A heat press, yes, there are different qualities of heat press, but if you know this trick with how to determine which pressure you're at based on how your handle and that paper test works, that will give you a really good idea of um, what pressure you are actually at without your heat press itself indicating this right here, medium, okay? All right, so hopefully, um, <laughs> someone's laughing because I said if you have to be on your tip of toes. Anyway, um, anyway, I hope that helps a little bit because I know there are a lot of people who are like, I don't know what pressure I'm using on my heat press because it has a pressure knob, but it doesn't indicate explicitly what I am um, using, okay? All right, you guys, like I said, I grabbed this information from a video that I just watched, of, again, of myself. We've talked a lot, we've, not a lot, but we I have a blog post and I've done before on the paper pressure test, paper test. Um, however, I haven't gone further than that saying how to determine all three ranges. I just picked this tip up in another video on YouTube myself. I'm learning myself along with me, you guys. So I wanted to pass it along um, and I'll throw the link up there as well. The rest of the information, it's a 16 minute video and she mentions it for about 15 seconds. The rest of the video is not gonna be relevant to you. So I'm just highlighting it here for you as well, okay? Um, okay, you guys, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and um, yeah, happy Thursday. We made it to Thursday, all right. See you guys.